Good day, beloved. This is Minister Chantrell Davis. It is May 23rd of 2016, and it is 10, 10 a.m. in the morning. I'm just going to give a brief uh, description of various dreams and visions I was given last night. They're so urgent, and I'm so heavy that I didn't even take time to go into my studio. I'm doing this straight from my laptop, and if the Lord reveals any more to me, um, I will reveal it to you as I am given, but I'm going to give you this so that we can pray because I know in my heart is urgent. My spirit has been very heavy uh, for weeks now, but for the last few days, extremely heavy. I mean, grieving. So I'm just going to read it to you the way I have it right now. Uh, the dream I dated and I, I called it hell, hoverships, cannibalism, a cry to repent. There is no time. I am simply going to bullet point this dream. I was taken from scene to scene and shown so much that I really don't know where to start. I remember clearly being shown various things, though the full scene of it I am not able to recall at this time. So I will fill it in with more detail as it is given to me or brought to my remembrance of the Lord. The first part I bullet pointed was a prophet spoke over me. I was in a place and the prophet stood over me and he said, the glory of the Lord will land here. And the moment he said that the I, I passed out, the glory, I felt the glory and I felt power and electricity hit me and I hit the ground and I was no longer in myself. I was taken into the spirit at this point and I was taken uh, at great speed. And at this point, I was being shown various things and I was taken into hell again. I've been there and I'm telling you, <laughs> uh, this was different. I was in the fire. I could see the people and I, I, I was untouched, but I could see the people and the skulls and the head and screaming. I could feel the despair. Um, and I was screaming too, because I didn't want to be there. I was saying no the whole way. I was hollering. No, 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 no. I don't want to go. No. And I mean, intensely screaming. I mean, like you could not imagine if you could imagine how you would scream if you think and you're being taken into the fire, um, even though, you know, you're safe. But you, I mean, come on, it was a blaze. It was nothing but blaze. And uh, there was a great feeling of loss and just being separated from him. It wasn't so much even the fire as being the thought of being separated from him. Um, and that was a scene that I had, and I'm not going to sum this up. I'm just bullet pointing right now. And I was shown hover ships that seemed to be strategically placed over every city, almost in some kind of a formation. And I don't know if the holes that were beneath them were symbolic, but they were drilled perfect holes. The shape of the hovercrafts were all the way down into the depths of the earth until they seemed to be into the pits of hell because you could see fire coming up out of all of the pits and all of the holes. And they seemed to be fire and then all of a sudden there was fire up on the earth. There was heat. I mean, even the concrete, the very concrete we walked on was hot. I was taken to another scene. Um, there was cannibalism. And I mean great cannibalism. And the people who had been uh, cannibalizing other people were starting to lose their mind because they had done it so much. And there was a few other people who had not fallen into it. And they, was the one, they were the ones being hunted by the other people. And I was shown the scenes of hell again, but a lot, I promise y'all, it was a lot longer than what I'm giving y'all right now. A lot longer. I just don't really know how to process all of what I was seeing right shown right now because it, it's, it's really a lot and it was really heavy. I mean, really, really heavy. And when I returned from hell, I was crying like I have never cried in my life. And when I say crying, snot and sniveling, I mean like a baby. I did not care what I looked like, just crying. And I was telling everybody to stop, to turn now. Y'all need to stop. And I was telling them, there is no time. And I kept saying, there is no time. Y'all need to come. Turn around. There is no time. And I mean, I kept saying, there is no time. And I was crying. I mean, crying like I had never, ever cried in my life. And I mean, and it was so intense and I was so hurt and no one was heeding. They were still going about what they were doing. And I was crying out in the cities for them to stop. And I was saying there is no time. And I could still see the visions of the people screaming and in agony and hell. And um, that was the end of it. But like I said, there's a lot more detail. I will give it to you as the Lord gives it to me. Because like I said, it's a lot to process and I need to type out. But uh, y'all, we need to pray. And in my heart, I know that there's some things coming and I believe there will be some people who will be where I was shown. And, um, and so I love you all. Stay prayerful and stay watchful. Walk in love at all times. Don't return evil for evil. Keep your eyes on Yahushua. Keep your eyes on him because um, that's all it's about. Because people will try to attack you, but don't allow it to affect your walk with Christ. Don't allow yourself to receive seeds of hate and bitterness. It is not worth it. It is not worth it. Uh, again, thank you for listening. I love you and God bless you all.